Hi and welcome back to tutorial 47. Uh, if you remember in the last part of the tutorial we were sorting through an array in order to enter a new value. In this part of the tutorial I'm going to show you another way of doing this which uh, is perhaps a little more efficient uh, for the computer and um, the way that we're going to do this is we're going to use an array counter. So first of all I'm going to just set up a variable and uh, I'm going to call that array counter and uh, set the initial value to zero and uh, oh another thing that uh, I think is useful to do since we're using print statements here is just on the first bar um, just to clear the print log which just saves us having to right click and do that so that makes sure that any information we see there is fresh so we're going to leave some of the things the same here, but some of them we're going to change. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is every time we find a new doji, we're going to actually increment the array counter variable. So we're going to do that by saying array counter equals array counter plus one, like so. Um, but then what we want this array counter to do is essentially go from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So what we're going to say is if array counter equals 11, in other words, we've just added 1 to 10, so it was previously 10, then we're going to reset the array counter to uh, one like so now we're not going to um, sort anymore what we're simply going to do is so we can get rid of all this stuff here what we're going to say is doji bar array counter so whatever the array counter is at that particular bar and into that we're going to st store the uh, the bar number and um, what we're going to do also is just replace instead of bar number we're going to, well, let's leave bar number there, but let's add an additional, we're going to add an additional print uh, element, and that's going to be the array counter. Um, so let's just put that in there. And um, as soon as we uh, press F3, this thing is going to be verified, and uh, we're going to see, oh, well, hang on, we've got another, another error, and uh, that is... Um, if current bar should be equals one, otherwise that's meaningless. So verified that, we can go to the print log and we're going to see a fresh print log. Now this is uh, this is where this becomes uh, a little interesting. You can see where these things are stored, 455, 452, 44, or we could rather see the bars that the doji's occurred on. And um, this number here, the first one is the bar number. So this is occurring on bar number. But you'll see here that this has been stored in element two. And we know that because array counter is two. And uh, if we were to go back to the previous time, array counter one, that was bar number 452. That was stored in the array element number one, and that is still there. And what will happen as we go along is, um, the program is literally replacing, so the next time a, a doji is found, this will be replaced because that will be the oldest. So in other words, if we were to, uh, let's just go back and uh, look at the current line here. So we will see, and you might need to uh, study this a little bit, but um, the, um, the latest number found uh, here is stored in element two. 455. The one before that, 452, is stored here, but we'll need to go right to the end here, 445. That was where the one before that was, and the one before that was stored here. So what we have essentially is a little counter that's going and making sure that we're replacing the oldest with the newest value. And um, using this method, it means that we do not have to go through a long, laborious sorting process every single time we find a new entry and of course that would be even more important if you had a say a 500 element array 
or even a 500 element two dimensional array you can imagine that the uh, the processing for that sort of uh, array particularly if events are happening fairly frequently would be uh, would be quite significant anyway so that is a simple uh, way of sorting an array method two I'll just uh, scroll up here so you can see the whole program I uh, hope uh, you found that useful and um, uh, please, if you're not part of our email list, then please do go to uh, markplex.com and uh, sign up for the email list there. Thank you very much.